Okay. I, I preached. I, I, well, I didn't preach. I did a video a while back changing the oil in my... Okay, let's try this one more again. Uh, anyways, I, I talked about winterizing your equipment. Well, I got this Murray GT from Ryan a little while ago, a few, couple, few weeks ago, and uh, it's a good deal, good, good trade. I'm not gonna complain. 18 horse twin, uh, opposed twin Briggs, uh, but. It had about a half a gallon, and I, I wish I could have showed what the fuel looked like. It had about a half a gallon of fuel left in the tank that smelled like abysmal death. It, it was horrible. I, I've, I've found decomposing bodies to be a more attractive smell. Um, whether that be deer, possum, raccoon, people, it doesn't matter. It's more attractive smell than this fuel. But as soon as he gets back out here with the dog, uh, I'm going to show you why. If you leave your equipment with fuel in it over winter, or however long it takes for it to go stale, why it won't run. So, all right, give me just a minute, and uh, the dogs are arguing. So. Give me just a minute and I'll show you why why it's not a good idea to leave fuel in your equipment over the winter time. You got it running? Yep. Okay, here, this is the fuel that come out of that Murray GT. Let me get in there and see the... Just pure hell nasty. My dog don't even want to come over and sniff wood in the wood stove. Varnish on the wood. Fire. Oh, look. It will not ignite. No ignite. That those sparks, sparkles you see in are splinters of the wood catching fire. That is why you winterize your equipment. When you don't, this, this is what's in there. This is what's left in the tractor after a few months. I, I don't know how old this fuel is, so I can't give an exact expiration date. But, fresh gasoline, and it, this is exactly why I saved this little bit of fuel. This is bought yesterday. My wife bought the fuel yesterday. Um, I'm just going to... Or just a, did I get some in there? Yep. Yeah. That's just a little, enough to get an explosion. Fresh gasoline will do that. Oh, open the damper, dummy. <laughs> but that's fresh gasoline. That other crap, I don't even know if you pour it on a flame if it'll catch you. I don't really want to try. Or do I? Well, I'll get some paper. Get some paper. Going. Put paper in here. Get the paper burning. It might put it out. Big fucking dog, woof! Hit the fucking van one more. Hey, that goes on YouTube, so watch oh, it now. My bad. Language, man, language. Where'd my fire stick go? Oh, right here. Get your paper going. 
get some paper started and we'll pour some of that varnished gasoline on on said paper fire. This torch is so damn young cold, it's hurting my hand. I think dog's trying to warm up. <laughs> Don't warm up too much, son, because I'm getting ready to throw some rotten fuel on there. Okay, yeah. Back up. Put it out. <laughs> like I said, winterize your equipment. This this is terrible. <laughs> this is this and this God it stinks. <laughs> it, it is horrible. Yeah. You can stop the This is the same Murray that uh, the uh, stale ass gas that won't even burn come out of. Uh, Ryan's pulling the carb off right now because I'm video cameraing. And uh, we got to take the carb off and either swap it out for a clean one or clean this one. Either way, we did get it to fire, but we had to take the plugs out, clean them up, spray ether right in the cylinder which the ether I have is, it has the lubricant in it, so it, don't be crying and whining, oh, you'll burn the rings up. It, it has lubricant, but it's still hard on the engine, but I wanted to hear it fire. It did fire, did it not? Yeah, it did. Okay. It will not fire with this carburetor on there for some reason, and I think it's because it was full of that. It, the gas in the carburetor smelled worse than the gas that come out of the tank. I wish... I, I wish this was scratch and sniff video, but it's not. Uh, it, it was literally putrid. Yeah, absolutely horrid. Uh, but we're pulling the carb off. It did fire, so I'm happy about that. And we, we discovered something else either really cool or, oh, shit, that sucks. It's got one-inch spindle axles. It don't have three quarter or five eighths. It's got one inch spindle axles. We was going to put the tires off that square body Craftsman. There's my big dog, which are those four wheeler tires over yonder on here. We're just going to trade wheels. That didn't work out because those are three quarter spindles. These are one inch spindles. They're huge. But uh, anyway, more to come. <laughs> As you can see down in there, this is what happens when you do not winterize your equipment. And this is why this tractor was basically junked. Ryan bought it dirt cheap. I traded him out of it. It's just that that is focus you. Technology sucks. There, there it was. That is horrible. Just absolutely horrible. And the smell. In the garage working on tractors, come in to eat a sandwich. And my wife was making biscuits and gravy and sausage. Well, right now it's just biscuits. I got the sausage well, and gravy. Yeah, bark. right now it's just biscuits. But I love coming into a surprise. The Abby biscuit. A, a good surprise, not a. Abby biscuit is, is the leftover dough. I, I don't like coming into a honey. The commode's flooding over. Fix it. I, I, like, I love. That. I love coming into a honey. I'm making you biscuits and gravy. I didn't say that either. <laughs> Quit being mean. Don't steal my thunder. It's my story, and I'm telling it. Ha <laughs> ha. Be jealous. Yep. All right, well, I had to take the carburetor apart. Well, a carburetor. There's still one on her. But I had to take this one apart because that one's not working. This one... 
I was going to take the pump off of the diaphragm, put the pump on that pump diaphragm on that, but the pump was crystal clear. So instead of doing all of that, took this pump, this carb apart, and cleaned it. I was intimidated. I thought, oh God, this is going to be complicated. It's not. It's actually not that bad of a job. Now, whether or not it works yet, I don't know. But we'll see. Uh, don't be intimidated taking these carburetors apart. On the opposed twin. I don't know about the rest of them, but the opposed twin is fairly simple. Sort of. Unless I'm just stupid and screwed everything up. But I don't think so. We'll come back with more video as soon as we put this on and crank it over five million times to get gas primed up in it and see if it works. We may have to turn this one. I don't know if I'll be able to see it or not. What's well, also a pain because it was a pain in the butt just getting them off the eight-inch rims right back. But they had to lean them just right, just enough to catch it, and then hope it came off. Yeah, I can't. My problem is it's so dark over here. I can't see. Sure. Yeah, appreciate it. No problem. It's gotta go right there. Which anybody that watches these videos knows that, unless you're only watching for my electronic waste. Oh, say hi, Ryan. Hello. Uh, yeah, coast my co-star for this this movie throwing parts across the garage on the dirt floor is Ryan. <laughs> he's got the lowered down Craftsman. Now he's got a Murray wide body over there 
We just did an engine swap on. We, we've done a lot of work on this Murray GT today, ain't we? Yeah. Switch carburetors twice. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> switch carburetors twice and rebuilt, rebuilt one. Yeah. Uh, well, I won't say rebuilt, but took apart and cleaned. cleaned. And and they just heard it run. I got to change the solenoid and then take the wire wheel to the whole tractor and paint this ugly beast. Because whoever painted it painted over mud and everything. Wasn't you, was it? Nope. I got this way. Yeah, they painted over mud and everything. Did it go on? Yeah. Well, the next one whenever it's like halfway on. Yeah. Yeah. Want the hammer and screwdriver? Yeah. Uh, here's the hammer. Here's the screwdriver. <laughs> really well. Yeehaw! You want me to let the jack down? It don't matter. Well, it's. There's either way if it's going to stuck. Yeah. Man, there's still heat coming out of the stove. Not that we need it now, but. I need to get some concrete. Set your stove on a concrete pad. Hey, boy. More to come.